moving forward. What's up, guys? My name is Jay Parrish. I'm the Director of Business Development with Coldwell Banker Elite. And today I wanted to show you how you can add your clients to drip campaigns. If you're not familiar with what a drip campaign is, it is an automatic email that goes out automatically on its own without you having to do anything and a certain cadence that's set up by a schedule. So weekly or monthly or quarterly or, or by specific dates for like holiday campaigns and things like that. It's very important to set your new leads up, to set your sphere of influence. Anyone that you will be interacting with, uh, drip campaigns help you help the clients keep you as the top of mind awareness so that they understand when they go to go buy or they want to sell their home, they're thinking of you first. So Moxie Engage is what we're talking about today and is a great way for you to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and jump on in and show you how you can set up campaigns in Moxie Engage. So once you are in Moxie Engage, this is the dashboard. This is where your landing page is, your stay and flow here. I'm giving you just I always like to highlight that as a place for you to have five people that you can reach out to every single day. So to get to your campaigns, there's probably a bunch of ways to do it, but the easiest way is just going up here to the menu section and clicking on campaigns. And this brings you to your campaign page. So you have several things as it's loading here. You're going to have my campaigns, which are uh, global campaigns over that allow multiple emails to go out over time. Then you have your e-blast. That's going to be like a single email or a newsletter that you send out to your clients as a one-time thing. You have your neighborhood news, which we've talked about in other videos, but this is a uh, monthly email that goes out, kind of the nosy neighbor email. Your neighbor's house sold for this much. Um, this house is active in your neighborhood or zip code or however specific that you do it. Then you have listing announcements. That's going to be any new listings that you have if you sign your clients up for those campaigns. And then your specific my email section, that's going to be any of the emails from the campaigns. So if we go back over to my campaigns, you're going to see all the campaigns that you have pulled in from the library and whether or not they are active or how many open or click rates that are in there. So once you have your clients set up in here, it'll be showing your open rates, click rates, and so on. So yours will be blank to start off. You won't have any of these in here. So how you find these is you go up to this blue button in the top right, add from library. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to see all the campaigns that are already created for you by Coldwell Banker that you can just use without having to do anything to them at all. So some of these might not be um, for you, some of them for recruiting. If it says CBR, that's like for um, Coldwell Banker Realty, the corporate side. So those aren't really going to be for you. CBA is a Coldwell Banker affiliate, like Coldwell Banker Elite. Those are going to be the ones that you want to look for. Any of the holiday campaigns. Uh, let's see here. As we go through scrolling down here, they have a homeowner home improvement tip. So this is a quarterly drip campaign email Four touches that are going out a buyer um, for a closed buyer. So after you close that transaction, we don't want to stop staying in touch with our clients after the closing. That's what a lot of people do. And actually studies show that somewhere between like 80 or 90 percent of people would use the same real estate agent they, that they used in the future. And only like 20 to 30% actually do that because we don't stay in touch with them. So it's that important to be able to, you know, be reaching out to them. But this is an automatic way for that to happen. So that's one there for closed buyer campaigns. A generic campaign is if one you want to create on your own. And that's always the best. If it can be in your voice, that's going to be the best. But it, it does take some work. So we're going to start off today with just ones that are already created for you. So there's a seller cold oil banker dream one. There's a homeowner closed client. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. I love these two here, the homeowner energy saving tips and the homeowner home security tips. Those are once a month, just great content that you're giving to your clients. It's not really like, hey, do you want to sell your home? Do you want to go buy a house? It's just like, here's a way for you to save money. Here's a way for you to protect your family each month. And it's something that they're going to open and read and just keeping you in the forefront of their mind when, you know, three, four or five years from now, they do go to sell their home. So there's some great ones. And just real quickly, you can go and click this preview button to see what it looks like for this campaign. So they've added pictures in here. It's just a really great look. And a lot of these campaigns, you're able to go in and edit if you want to change the picture out, if you want to change the wording in here. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. 
but this is the first one here and you can see that after you start them in the campaign they'll receive the first one 32 days later they'll receive the second one 64 days and so on down the list it tells you exactly when they're going to get those those emails and you can kind of just scroll through here and see if it's something that you like or if there's things that you want to change you're able to do that later on once you add them to the campaigns so we're going to close out of this one and go back to the library i'm going to show you one that i think is really beneficial for everyone so we have you have a new buyer lead and this is a 30-day buyer lead drip campaign okay so let's click on a preview for that so after the first one they're going to get you know one after after you send it out in one day, they're going to get the first email, they're going to get another email six days later, then 12 days later. So within that first month, they're going to get six emails from you. Remember, this is a new lead that you're trying to, trying to stay in touch with. We know there's a ton of agents out there that we're competing against so that you're putting good information in front of them. And let's say you didn't want to use this image here because it's obviously not a picture of you. You're able to change the image out and put in your own photos. And let's show you how to do that. So you're going to, if you like this campaign, you're going to click the bottom the button in the bottom right called add to campaigns click on that and you can see this green button here said it's added to my campaigns and it's a waiting setup once you have added that to the library you're going to see it populate right here at the top and there's a few different things here so you want to click first you want to go to view the emails so this is where you're going to be able to edit the emails as they're going through and they kind of come in here out of order so this is going to be the first one here buyer lead your partner in the process so you're going to click on that and you're going to see here a couple different things you can edit the setup so you can change the subject line if you want to change that you can insert preview text so this is something to grab their attention with a sample that appears after your subject line in their email you can include a header a footer or signature whatever you would like to do okay so there's some um, customization you can do there what I always recommend is as you're building this out that you go ahead and send yourself a test email or set yourself up on this entire campaign and see what it's looking like to make sure that it fits your business and you like everything, you like the branding, you like the way everything looks before sending this out to your clients. But what's really cool is we can click here under build email so we can edit the email content. And this is where you can change anything that you would like in here you can change this headline you can go in here and leave this wording here and then put in a paragraph after it or before it that sounds more like you that's coming from your voice that's always going to be better and remember this is going to take some time for you to build out each of these emails to be exactly the way you want it to be but that is uh, what's going to make it really effective and you'll have to do that one time then when you add your clients to it in the future that's already all in there for you for some reason this isn't showing up here so we can just delete that out anything that was not showing properly because that's the way it would go uh, out to your clients if you wanted to change this photo you can do that i find it uh, easiest to drag and drop an image in so we'll leave this one here i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in a new image and i'm going to now delete this one out so now we have it as you know your partner in the process and it's actually a picture of yourself and that's going to make it a lot better for you. So once you have it the way that you want it to look, you just go up here to continue. And now that content has been saved. And you would just go through this step by step, going through all of the various emails. Uh, actually, oops, you want to make sure you save in the top right here. And you would go through and edit each email in this set. So we're viewing the emails here. So we'd want to go in and take a look at this one. This is one of the last ones and we can edit the email content. You go through and do the exact same things for this. And once you're all done, you hit continue again. And we're going to, we didn't change anything. So it's not asking us to save. We're going to go back to campaigns. And then we're going to click on this section instead of the view section right here. And this is where we want to set up the, who we're going to be sending this to. Okay, so we click set up and you go to add recipients. There's a couple ways that you can add people to your campaign list. You can just go one by one or type their names directly in here and just click the ones you want to add. You can also create groups um, where you can add in like if you wanted your sphere of influence or you wanted buyers or sellers and you could then just send it to those select people and they're all going to be added to that group. So you hit add 
you can see I did this one a large group of 407 so there's 407 people added to this particular one um, so you know that really would not be actually let me see if I can cancel that out that wouldn't make the most sense for this one since it's going to be a buyer let's just go to setup and add recipients and we'll say that Aaron is a new buyer for me so now we have this one person added and you can down here see the cadence of how it's going to be laid out you could change this if you wanted to spread it out more if you thought this was too aggressive whatever you wanted you can go in and edit the schedule and you can change the days from the start date start date from when you added them into the campaign and then i like the way this is so i'm not going to change anything with that so i'm just going to hit save the last thing you'll need to do is after you've hit save the run campaign will turn from gray to blue and you're going to hit that to finalize so we're going to hit run campaign after you hit the blue run campaign button it'll turn gray again you can hit the campaigns it'll bring you back to this screen here and then you'll be able to see that it is running you can click into it to double check that if you ever want to stop it end it archive it you just click on that um, or you hit done and you're all good to go Again, I recommend that you go ahead and add yourself in as a recipient to see what it looks like to make sure that you like everything before you send it out to your clients. And just take some time to go through the library, showing you guys where that is again, the adding from the library and seeing what campaigns in here you think are gonna be a good fit for your clients. And remembering the more campaigns that you add, I think at a minimum, you should be having a, an email, personal email or auto email going to your clients, past clients, current clients, at least once a month. Those that you're actively working with or new buyer leads, you're wanting to, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, definitely being more proactive for those new buyers. That's why I think that particular buyer lead campaign is great for you. I want you guys to start working on this. Let me know as you're going through it if you have any questions at all. Um, I would love to work with you and answer any of those questions. But I hope to see you guys next time and good luck with this. Take care.